You may have come across these two papers that were published a few years ago, highlighting a particular aspect of deep learning that we had all been taking for granted until then. Why do deep networks with so many parameters that are made to fit the training data to zero error learn a nice function that generalizes so well to unseen data? Conventional wisdom suggests that such complex models should learn a bad function that simply memorizes the labels on the training data. This is a question that has caught the attention of both theoreticians and practitioners alike and has since become a pretty active area of research. So what do these papers say? Mathematically speaking, conventional bounds on the generalization gap, like the VC dimension, cannot explain this generalization puzzle as these bounds estimate the representational complexity of the network by its parameter count, hence yielding vacuous generalization bounds. To this end, these two papers propose that we should derive more refined bounds by taking into account the fact that SGD implicitly controls the representational capacity of the network. And this suggestion resulted in an exciting line of work that found new ways of deriving generalization bounds in deep learning using many different learning theoretic tools. While these tools may look pretty different externally, in essence, they are all the same learning theoretic tool called uniform convergence. Unfortunately, all these existing uniform convergence bounds are still either parameter count dependent or require some kinds of explicit modification or regularization to the network learned by SGD. In addition to these issues, in our paper, we bring to light some more concerning problems troubling these bounds. First is our finding that even though the true generalization gap decreases with training set size as expected, these bounds in contrast increase with the training set size. Hence, parameter count dependence is not the only problem plaguing these bounds. Next, and more importantly, we present some example binary classification tasks, tasks in deep learning, where we show that even though SGD generalizes well, it learns a decision boundary that is complex in a certain way that all uniform convergence bounds are vacuous in these settings. That is, uniform convergence provably fails to explain generalization in these cases. Through these two findings, we call into question the current approach of using uniform convergence to understand generalization in deep learning. Perhaps it's time to look for a new tool.